Good morning. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. It is my first, like, actual, meaning, like, makes a difference day of maternity leave. Uh, but technically, my disability started on Saturday, but this is the first day I'm not going into work. And I wanted to make a video about it, so I'm going to do a vlog. <laughs> I'm doing my best to not use dailies this week, um, or at least to see how that goes. So instead, I have um, this section here. It says nap time, but... I just actually can't get done while she's napping, but this is like my goal for the day. Um, because my, my goals this week are organizing the kid's closet and then cleaning the house a little bit before a guest comes on Saturday. I don't have the time yet that he needs to be picked up from the airport, so I haven't added that, but I know that he's coming. Um, I know, maybe it's crazy. We haven't seen him in two years. He's our oldest godfather, and he's my husband's, like best friend cousin so we're excited to welcome him for a couple of nights I have some errands I want to run this week so I may or may not get to some of those the big thing today is that we have a doctor's appointment for my one and a half year old it's like two weeks overdue but now I don't have to take off work so we probably won't get to the library thing at 11 30 because she gets shots she probably might get kind of sleepy or cranky um, so that's what's going on um, I have some things here that can get worked on um, and mostly I'm just gonna try to get some stuff done in the closet maybe also some stuff in the garden and uh, my husband is also still looking for work um, he might be doing some part-time stuff later this week but for today he at least today and probably in the next couple of days he's still at home maybe for a couple of weeks I don't know so I'm kind of trying to front load some of the errands and things like I want to go get a pedicure um, did I put that on here? All right, you let him climb out. Thank you. Yeah, you want to wave to Mimi? Here, I'll hold on your window so you can wave to Mimi. All right, she's coming out your window. Wave. So Bridgie back here just turned 18 months like two weeks ago, but I put off her, um, well, baby visit for a little bit until I didn't have to take off work. So that is where we are headed. First thing today, are you gonna... It's crazy, there's a high school across from our uh, preschool, so traffic gets a little insane. Uh, that's the big thing today. She's getting some SHOTS, so she might be a little bit cranky, and we're gonna base the rest of the day off of how she's feeling. Uh, but I have a couple things, like I said, that I would like to get done, so we'll see what happens. Owie! <laughs> Owie! All they did was measure your head. That's uh, yours? Yeah. Uh huh. No blankie. No blankie? No blankie. Yeah. No da. No? You don't like oh no piggies? No. You don't like piggies? No. No more piggies? Only one shot today. It was surprisingly traumatic though. She's understanding a lot. And I think she recognized where we were as soon as we got in and she saw the exam table. She started saying owie. Even though all they were doing was like weighing her and measuring her head. So hopefully she'll uh, be a bit more ready when it uh, comes to her next appointment at two years old. Anyway, I think it's nap time when we get home. Yeah? She's been having snacks the whole time to keep her calm. Um, so I think it is time for a nap and uh, see if I can get some stuff done. Mm -hmm. 
All right, look at this. These were, this is another one of the presents. Um, this is where all of the blankets are gonna live here in the closet. Um, and this was another present. And so all of a three-year-old's clothes are on the bottom where she can reach them. And then the, the one-year-olds are at the top. And then we'll be able to hang cute little dressy baby boy clothes on this side. And everything is now going to fit. All of these um, blankets had been in a dresser drawer. And <laughs> thanks, Bridge. <laughs> now that dresser drawer is free <laughs> for clothes. So I'm done in the nursery for now, put the baby down for a nap. Um, my husband just went off to go help his parents whose washing machine is broken um, and to pick up some stuff from the party yesterday. So now I have all of the gifts and stuff. Sorry, it's a mess and who cares? Um, I am trying to be a little bit extra this time and I am um, taking pictures of every group of stuff that was given to us and labeling it with who gave it to us so that I can try to remember like, oh, this onesie is from this person, maybe send them a picture of it. Um, I guess I'm just extra grateful this time because like it's not our first baby, but still people were really generous and sweet when bringing clothes. Um, and so we really don't have to buy anything. There's a bunch of really cute stuff. So I'm organizing all that then by size. Um, the newborn and zero to three stuff is going straight in the wash and everything else is gonna get set aside for later. I just wanna organize so that I can find it when I need it. And I'm just gonna feel a lot more put together and ready for the baby to come if this is done. So, plus I feel like really good <laughs> about this pregnancy at this point. Um, like just physically, I have more energy than I think I did with my second at this age. So um, I'm gonna take advantage <laughs> and get some real nesting then. <laughs> all right, here's the result. Zero to three and newborn sizes are all going into the wash and we've got three to six, six to nine, and a couple that are in some bigger sizes. Um, the last bag was like a big bag of hand-me-downs from my sister who just found out that their next one is a girl. Um, so we are also probably going to hand some of our girl stuff off to them and we can kind of swap back and forth. And I think that will work. It's, it's just nice to not have to buy clothes for kids until they're a little older. Okay, one-handed planner check-in. Um, like I said, we're doing weeklies this week. So as I was uh, theorizing, we're not getting to the library today. It is already uh, an hour past that. So never mind that. That's absolutely fine because um, the baby was, I mean, she's fine. She was in good spirits by the time we got home. Still, she loves telling stories. Um, so she was definitely telling her daddy about how the shot hurt her, but um, she's fine. She got a sticker, a Band-Aid, um, and she's good. I posted my reel, so that's good. You know, uh, if you haven't seen that, follow me over on Instagram. I try to post a reel every week. That's my my goal. Um, I This is my goals for like the week to try to get stuff done. I don't have any bananas, so I need to go to the grocery store maybe ne tomorrow. Let's see, I did blankets, laundry, yes, good. I organized, as you saw, all of the clothes. I think this pack go bag, that's tomorrow. Um, I want to make sure that some things are clean and I have to pick like the going home outfit and all that. Organized closet is a work in progress, but I just have to put stuff away now um, because the baby laundry is in the washer right now. We're ready to go into the dryer um, or some, some is in the wash, some is in the dryer. Um, but the register shopping, I think I'd like to take a look at while the baby's still asleep after lunch if I can, because I've got here tuna salad from Friday um, as a grilled, what's it called? Tuna melt. With, yeah, it's leftover from Friday because it's Lent and I just actually really like tuna. Um, not too much while you're pregnant. Anyway, gosh, I need to do that. But I did call to have my records transferred to EDD for maternity leave stuff. Car clothes. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. So there's some things that I can get done this week. But today, I think after lunch, I'm going to try to look at my registry and get some completion discount stuff. Um, we got a couple of some cash and some a gift card that we can use to get some of that. Um, like we got a new set of diapers, but I want to get some extra inserts for them before I start putting them in rotation. Um, and I think I wanted to get like some drawer pulls for the nursery. So a couple little things like that. Um, and that's that's the check-in.
All right, these errands are probably gonna happen tomorrow, or some of them, maybe, because once the baby wakes up, she'll get something to eat. We have to go pick up her sister by three, and then we're going to hit the park. That's the plan. But first, sandwich. All right, real quick, because the AC uh, is needed. It is uh, 70, only 75 out. It feels like it's probably 90 inside this car. Uh, we're gonna go pick up uh, Big Sister. We're gonna go get my nun. You see a wolf wolf? Daddy. Are you gonna wave and say hi? Hi, wolf wolf. <laughs> We're gonna go get uh, my three-year-old from preschool and then we're gonna hit up a park, I think, afterwards that we haven't been to before. Um, my husband wanted to come, but he lost track of time and he wanted to get some stuff done on the lawn in the back. So he is mowing and aerating, uh, which I'm super grateful for because it needs it. Um, and I've got the girls for the next bit. It's been a good productive day so far. Still a lot of laundry folding, <laughs> as you saw, but I, um, I did get that order into Amazon, um, and so that's gonna be coming later this week. Very excited for that. Anyway, let's turn this AC back on, okay, Bridgie? that my husband is still here <laughs> because after about an hour at the park um in the sun uh just you know using my brain to make sure I knew where both girls were at the same time um came home and they're you know just they're whining voices and I just started to lose patience and energy for it they're still outside with him um he's working on the lawn and still and uh they are Messing around with the garden, um, but it's fine. I just snuck back inside because I'm gonna keep working on putting away the next size up of, this is three to six, in the closet. And then um, we'll have to put like the actual sizes that he's gonna be in, the newborn and zero to three, into the dresser. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, just for a few minutes to just sort of regroup. Cause like, I don't feel like I could fall asleep, but I feel just kind of exhausted. So um, it's a good thing I uh, have another parent here. Uh, so that, that's what's up. <sighs> Fast forward a few hours. It was just a really frustrating evening. Um, the girls were a lot and I ran out of energy. Just like, I felt like I hit a brick wall energy wise, um, both physically and mostly just emotionally. I think I, I maybe pushed myself a little bit too hard with all the baby's clothes sorting, which I did actually end up getting done, pretty much. I think the only thing I have left to do is to go through and resort the socks, because I just put every sock in the drawer, um, even some that are labeled for like two to four years old. So I need to go through and sort those by size. Some of the bigger ones I can actually stick in my 18-month-old's um, drawer and let her wear them for a while. Anyway. But I just, uh, I was losing my patience with the girls. We had fun at the park, um, but then there was just, like, a weird vibe. With, there was this, this kid there who was, like, too comfortable, like, asking me to push her on the swing and stuff. And it just kind of made me feel weird. Like, her mom was way off in the car somewhere, and I just, I kind of noped out of there after a while. Um, it was tough because the girls were having fun, too, but I don't know. What would you do in the, that kind of a situation? Do you ever deal with that if you have kids? Because, like... On one hand, you do want your kids to like grow up to feel comfortable talking to grown-ups, but also like there's a, there's a level, right? And I just felt like it was beyond that. Um, and I was like, I'm not here as your parent. Like I can't be the one to tell you, don't eat that candy you found on the ground, but also don't eat that candy you found on the ground and no, it's not ours. Like um, she was probably like nine. Anyway. Weird, and I think that kind of set me off also, is just to be, like, over it. And so I got home as soon as we could, and 
Um, the girls just started getting on my last nerve. Like, I had already run, already run out of nerves. Um, and they used them up real quick. So, I did get the clothes sorted. We had a nice dinner. Everyone earned their dessert. And, um, it's, it's nice when, uh, you know, we don't have a work schedule to keep us, like, eating super late to have evenings to sort of relax a little bit. So, that was good. We got a little bit of family time. And then capped off with a frustrating bedtime that resolved okay. So it's ups and downs, and as long as everyone ends with an apology. It also helps that my husband and I make a point of like praying together after the kids go to bed. That is, um, when we make a point of doing that regularly, like every night, um, things are better, you know, in our family and in our relationship. It's, it's good to have that communication and that, uh, prayer time so I recommend that so I'm um, doing some I think I'm gonna put some grocery lists together um, there's some uh, errands I want to run tomorrow I want to try to get to Michael's because I'm getting some new drawer pulls from Amazon on Wednesday and I want to get paint to customize the dresser a little bit uh, so that's gonna be I think a fun project maybe with the girls or maybe just by myself <laughs> um and then yeah we need groceries some other things so I'm gonna try to sort of plan out my day there's yeah the screen protector also is the other thing it had like a crack or like a, some scratches my screen protector on my phone has some scratches so I got a new one and then just today I don't know I think the one and a half year old is messing with it and it's got like a little actual crack in it so it's time to change the screen protector on my phone and then uh may also tomorrow try to fit in a library story time there's another one that may or may not be happening in the evening it's not on the online schedule but it usually happens tuesday evenings so i might have to just call the library and ask if it's happening but in either case we have to go to that library because um there's a book on tape that we requested that's waiting for us there. So, today I got some good stuff done here. Um, none of the errands. I did my tea and my dates. I guess I'll say walk, because I was also, besides just walking, I was uh, doing some lunges at the park and also got a pretty good arm workout pushing both girls on the swings. And we're out of bananas. So... That's what my planner looks like. I think I might actually use a daily tomorrow so that I can try to s slot in some errands while we're out and about and see exactly how much time we have. Um, convenient that I still do have husband at home so I can maybe just actually do the errands by myself while she's napping. So we'll see how that goes. But you won't because this is the end of the video. <laughs> I'm gonna be editing this for the next couple of days. Um, so this is actually the most like timely video you're gonna get for a while until after the baby comes. Um, the rest, going forward have been pre-recorded and already uploaded and ready for the next like four weeks so I'm gonna relax a little bit on the video production front um so yeah leave your comments below on stuff that you want to see when I get back um if I ever get time to work on insert designs and you have anything in mind let me know that and in other words just like you know let me know well, how what are you up to um this is kind of fun vlogging, you know, I don't do it very often and I don't feel like I'm particularly good at it, but I hope you enjoyed this little view into my one slice in the day of the life of a uh, over-enthusiastic mom-to-be to two other girls also. So it's just, it, there's a lot in life and the house is a mess and you got to see some of that too. My life is a mess and I'm glad you're here for it. I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.